Hello everyone, welcome to my let's play of Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder. Uh, this is going to be my last Golden Axe let's play. I was going to do Golden Axe 3, but I'm not going to do it now for two reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, it doesn't work on my emulator and I can't be bothered downloading another emulator and getting it to work. And secondly, um, Kikoski and Necroscope86 have let's played it cooperatively. So there's no uh, possible thing that I could possibly add to uh, to that. So I'm just going to do this game and then that's it for the Golden Axe videos. This video has been a long time coming actually, you know, I've, I've really left big gaps between these Golden Axe Let's Plays. Um, I don't think there's a massive uh, outcry for them anyway, but I don't like leaving things too long, so that's why I'm... So that's why I'm going to just do this now. And what I'm going to do is, people quite liked my uh, semi-drunken let's play of Golden Axe 2. So, um, I'm not doing anything tonight, and I'm not at work tomorrow. So, um, what I'm going to do, I have a couple of ga cans in, and, well, why why not? I'm going to play a, a sort of a drinking game of this. So, what's going to happen is that I'm going to have a drink, like a mouthful, every time my character dies. Um, and we'll, and I've I've I'm really bad at this game, so this uh, should be should be interesting. We'll just see how this goes. Anyway, this is showing parts of the game, and I, I want to sort of explain these things uh, as I go. So I'm just going to start the game. If I make that the active window, that might help. Well, let's uh, let's just sort the sound out. This is quite an impromptu thing. Oh no, go around here. Right, there you go. So um. This is quite an impromptu thing, so I'm not quite prepared for it, but uh, alright, so this is Golden Axe Revenge for Death Adder, made in, uh, of Death Adder, made in 2002. Now, we have four characters, Stern, Trix, Goa, and Dora. I'm going to be Stern, I'm going to start with Stern anyway, he's my favourite character. I might go with other characters later on, but um, alright, scene one, rescue the villagers. Stupid villagers getting kidnapped. Yeah, there they are. I need to save them. Alright, so here I go. First enemy. Easy enough. Second enemy. Nope. Okay, well, I haven't taken a hit yet, so that's, that's okay. Uh, now it throws three enemies at me, like, you know, in the first ten seconds. But it's okay, it's okay. The colours of the enemies don't seem to really seem to make that much of a difference, at least not in this. In the sense that they did in the uh, the first two games. Um, oh, and we have uh, the first mount of the game, which is a fire breathing. Yikes! A fire breathing praying mantis. I'm actually doing pretty well. <laughs> so this game's obviously a lot better looking than the other games. Um, I remember playing this when I went to the seaside at one of those arcades where you got about 50p in for a play. Dodge the flying spear, dodge the flying man, and burn him to death. Burn him to death. I remember it looked amazing, and it does. It looks looks really really good. We have an elf here. Yes, the elves are back. Um, they did away with the uh, with the books, the magical books, uh, and we have pots back. But they work slightly differently, as in uh, your your spell costs a. And, um, a certain amount of, of pots, like for instance nine for Stern, he has fifteen total. So when you use your uh, your magic, you will use nine pots, but you'll you'll still have a certain amount left if you've got any in excess, and they will continue uh, to be carried over from character to character. Well, let's see if I can get past this guy without him throwing rocks at me. Yes, catapults, which I can now use. I didn't really want to pick that up because I want to save it for the boss. Okay, well I can just like do this, I guess. Oh, go away! All right, so that's going to run out, and I have to face the boss. So this is well, it's like a semi-boss. It's not the end of the level, but uh, yeah, it's sort of an Amazon woman. Yeah, this is going um, much better than than normal, I have to say. Whoa, this is going far too well. Don't worry, I'll get worse. I'll get worse at it. Don't worry, I will get worse at this. Oh. Just have to burn you instead. The uh, the jumping and there we go. I'll just finish you off like that instead. And now we move up into the map because yeah, this is um, sort of a new little feature. It's a very minor part of the game, but this this adds a lot of different things. I mean, it could barely be called the Golden Axe game, really, but it is a Golden Axe game. It just has so little in common. 
Well, I mean, it has Death Adder in it and stuff, but there's only one surviving character from the first two films, which is Gilius Thunderhead Dwarf, who rides on the back of uh, Goa and doesn't really um, do anything within the game, at least. Ah, nice try. Yeah, you guys just remain to be asleep and uh, don't bother with the uh, big pitch battle that's going on. And release you, release you. Burn you. Oh, those guys are just like sharing a joke, so they'll just join the battle whenever they, they're ready, you know. There we go. I don't think they're ever going to be ready. <coughs> One minor little problem is that uh, you, you, you use your action button to pick up the potions, which is also your attack button, and it will always def uh, default to... Uh, oh, I've lost the mount. It will always default to the uh, picking the, the potions. That will override your, your attacking, which can be a problem. Oh, yes, yeah, just kick that throwing axe out of the way. <laughs> If you're in the middle of a battle and you're trying to attack people and suddenly you pick up a potion or uh yeah and you just you know get hit. Okay, now we've got some elves, which means we are at the end of the level. Um effectively. Well that didn't go very well, did it? Here we are, this is the end this is the last boss. And it's a uh giant. So I'll just get rid of this guy. Get on this. And, uh, yep, this is okay, so now I just have to deal with him. Ha ha! No, oh, no, back off. Oh. Yeah, good job I backed off there. Okay, he's down to half already, and I haven't taken a hit. This is going amazingly well. This is like the best. Oh, he got me. This is the best I've, like, ever done. And I actually really want to drink now. <laughs> so, it's quite ironic. The levels in this game are actually pretty long. They uh, seem to be a lot longer than the first first two games. Oh, I got him into a... Oh, I thought I did, but I don't. Get him into sort of an animation loop type thing going on, but... I might lose my first life soon and get to take my first drink. You never know. Oh, yes, there we go. No, no, not yet. Yep, if I go carry him like this. Throw him over there. Right, let's see if I can get him. Oh, you won that one. Alright, so I'll just pause and I'll just have a swig of this. Excuse me. Okay. And there we go. That's level over. Oh, we, we go with this, uh, this, this thing again. Notice the elves are like tougher than most enemies with, with the amount of damage that you can, they can take. It's a bit odd. And there we go. 18 pots by then, that's alright. Okay, so it appears the villagers were captured and taken to the enemy's town. We are on the way to that town. This uh, map here, they, the, the words on it are actually in Greek, I think. I read somewhere. But they only say things like town, forest, uh, ocean, or whatever. So it's, it's nothing that deep. Anyway, I think we're heading into the next area now. Yep. So I shall see you for uh, the next installment of Let's Play The Revenge of Death Adder.